Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Kenny's Kitchen. Once again, I am not in the kitchen because it is super hot out and I wanted to see if I could fry an egg on the hood of my car. According to my phone, it is 106 degrees out here. Um, I'm sure it's a little warmer in the sun. The safety precautions I'm taking later when I'm not standing in the sun. So let's get to the video. I have two pans I have had out sitting out here for about 15 minutes, heating up in the sunshine. Uh, I just touched the cast iron skillet and it is very hot to the touch. So I would not be surprised at all to see the egg fry. So I'm going to put just a tad bit of oil. It's not sizzling, so it's and it's not like scorching hot. So the tail thing is going outside of a This is probably going to fall into the or does it tip it? Yep. I thought it was straight, but it's not. Oh yay. There we go. See the oil's kind of getting a little questionable. Oh, this one just sitting there like that. Uh, for safety's sake, I am actually going to go inside, and we will come back out and check in that. All right. So while we are waiting for something to happen, I just want to be super clear with y'all. Um, when it is over 100 degrees, it is not a good idea to stand around that side. Um, I am observing safety precautions in that I am basically going out, coming back in. I have water. Um, I'm pretty much, even though I'm hoping the egg is cooking, right now I am staying inside where it's cool because I do not want to get overheated. I have a problem. So. so, yeah, when it is over 100 degrees, it can be super dangerous. So, yeah, don't, don't hang around outside. Just do what you need to do. Come come in, stay cool, stay hydrated. I'm not saying don't try this at home, but if you do, just be really smart, be really careful not to get overheated, stay cool, and stay safe, because it is dangerous. So with that, let's go check on the eggs. It has been probably about 15, 20 minutes, and as you can see, nothing is really happening. oil isn't even really sizzling it, sizzling, it's just kind of there. That egg's just sort of sitting there. Okay, and I just wanted to point something out. When I went to move the baking sheet, you can see actually, I don't know if it's dry, if it's cooking or if it's drying, but actually around the edge you can see something. Just right around the edges, but it might just be drying out. Not exactly sure what's going on, but we're gonna put it inside anyway and we'll see what happens. And in case you're wondering, it is suffocating me inside the car. I am actually filming this from outside, standing outside. It's hot outside. I can literally feel the heat radiating from the car. Just me. It looks to me like, I don't know, maybe I'm imagining things. Egg yolk's getting, or the egg white is getting white. White, so it might actually be cooking in there. Alright, so about 10 minutes later. And I think the egg on the pan is literally just drying out around the edges, so I don't think it's cooking. However, 
the one in the skillet is very definitely cooking. As you can see, the white is literally turning white. It might take a little while. But I think we're going to at least get one cooked egg out of this deal. Alright, not quite 30 minutes later and the one on the cookie sheet is not looking that healthy. I think it's just like drying up and shriveling up somehow instead of cooking. And I'm going to actually play with that a little bit. It's cooking, but very slowly. Okay, it's very mushy, like it's sort of cooking, but it's not. Yeah, that one, you can see, it's like it's really the white is just dried up. I'm going to have a powdered, a powdered, powdered egg right there. I don't know what's happening to the yolk. It's like, you know. Just if I break it, that's going to drip into the ground. Yeah, you can see the one in the cast iron skillet is very slowly cooking. Clearly the baking sheet one is not doing anything. And then the griddle seems to kind of be drying up a little bit too, rather than fully cooking. So, I don't think it's fully gonna... Cook. It looks like it's more drying up than cooking, so let's take a clutch of that. Yeah, it's just kind of this mush. It's not really cooking or anything. It's just like yeah, dried up. So it didn't really work, honestly. I think at this point, uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and call it and say no, it's not quite hot enough to fry an egg here at Montana. Um, it is awfully close, but no, it doesn't work. So it may be hot, may be miserable for us, but it is not hot enough to fry an egg on the hood of the car. Not had enough to fire an egg in the car. So that does it for King's Kitchen for today. I am going to take my eggs, go in and see if I can finish them on the stove. And they should still be good. I mean, it's hard enough to, to like, cook them all the way. I think I'm going back to you. If I die, then you know it didn't. But I think if I actually cook it, it should be fine. Here's open.